All right. I need to uh, finish up my work week here, or <laughs> weekend, and I'm going to mill this log and uh, maybe another one. We'll see how it goes. It's going to take me a bit longer uh, filming this, but I figured I'd show you uh, an Alaska mill and not in action. There's plenty of videos about it, but I've got the little side mill, which I don't see very often. So I'm going to slab this up into some plank. Um, I've already got a pretty good collection over there, mostly 1x8, uh, to build our chicken coop and repair our barn. So uh, let, me, let me mill this guy up, and I'll kind of show you through the process. First thing is to find the heart of the tree, both ends, put a level horizontal and vertical line. And uh, that just helps you helps you guide the guide the platforms and the, or the rails rather and keep everything straight. I always start at the small end of the log because that's the uh, obviously the smallest piece of wood you're going to be able to cut. So you want to start here. I'm um, going to start with my vertical line. This is one of the Grandberg mill attachments. We move it up pretty high. I can usually get it almost up to the bark and still have plenty for plenty of meat for uh, three nails. So. Pretty close to the top to the top of the bark and right down the center line. And you level it. Right there. Now is where we find out how high we are from the center. It's a strong four and a quarter. So we have to set the rail at the other end at the same height. Alright, here we are down at the thick end of the log. Um, I put a big heavy pencil mark. I don't know if you can see that. That's where the top of the bracket really wants to be. So I'm going to slightly tap it in there. Give it a check on the measurement and then level it up. Not quite five sixteenths, nice strong four and a, four and a quarter. So, pound that middle one all the way in. It's hard to do with the uh, not block the camera. I'm sorry. Oops, wrong way. It's a little bit, it's not lined up. All right, camera these guys off. A much more comfortable angle. All right, now I have to set the rails at the other end. And now uh, this is my little jerry rig. This uh, is just made to bolt onto some two by fours or two by sixes. I put some garage door angle on the inside. So I have a lot of potential places to bolt this down, so let's see how this lines up. Ooh, right at the end. That's going to make it. Granberg sent all this hardware. Um, all the nuts are nylon locking nuts, so you have to have a ratchet or something. Um, they are nice enough to make everything half inch though, so your chainsaw tool will work, but it's just tedious to not have a ratchet, to be honest with you. Snug. You know, obviously, this has wood rails. These, uh, this wood is going to work. Well, 
these already. I haven't sighted down it today, but it's been out in the rain, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's some curvature to my rails now. But um, I'm making chicken soup, chicken coop uh, cider. I don't really care. I have the tiniest wave. As long as it's all about the same thickness, that's what matters. so you can get a look at it. So there it is, bolted on. Let's have a sight down and see how it looks. Try and get the kitty corner. Angle. It's pretty good. It's still holding up. It's, it's a pretty square, pretty square slab. So now it's time to get out the chainsaw and cut it. There's the uh, milk set up for the first cut. I've got it set for five and a half inches deep, which is basically the height of uh, the two by four, plus an inch and a little to uh, keep me well clear of the aluminum. And it gets me a little bit down into the, the rounder bits of wood. I could probably actually tighten that up to five and a quarter, but definitely don't want to hit the aluminum brackets on the way by. Gasoline helps. in the Grand Bird clamp. I know you guys can't see me over here. But... Oops, hit this off. big fat slab. It's time to uh, cut the edges of these off. I'm going to make basically a three-sided timber out of this thing. Um, I don't own a table saw, surprisingly enough, so uh, I'm doing all my edge milling out here at the uh, with the chainsaw. So like I said, I'm going to cut this into a three-sided timber. I started at my level line in the middle, measured four inches out on each side. Did the same down at this end. Right from the level mark up from the center. You can see how much wider the wood is over here. I'm going to be cutting, you know, quite a bit off. So uh, I got some projects in mind for all these little, all these little barks, compost bins, and those sort of things. So uh, let me get this guide nailed on so I can cut the first edge. This is uh, for milling the edges of the boards. Uh, it's just two by six with some aluminum rail that give you uh, ten feet of it in the kit, or oh, twelve feet, I believe, actually. And uh, the chainsaw just gets a little miter. Basically, miter attachment there. It runs along the rail. You just set the, the guide on the bar wherever you need your depth of cut to be. You start it up and, uh, and run. I'm actually at the wrong end of the, uh, of the tool, though. But actually, I would start 
on the other end of this log cutting. Over here. But it just happened to be where I was standing. But you operate the tool from this side, that's why you have these handles. It's a little weird. Um, definitely not a standard way to hold the chainsaw, but it works well. So let me fire that up. Of course my battery decided to die halfway through the, the first slab off the side, but I've now cut both both sides. I just continued working, I'm sorry. But, uh, but yeah, so now I have a three-sided timber, 8x8, eight eight, yeah, well, 8x10 eight probably, with the uh, little half round there on the bottom. I'll swap guides on the, on the saw again, swap the jigs, and slice this into one-inch pieces, but that's going to happen another day. It's a cloak coming in on dinner time. So, hope you find this interesting. And uh, please check back for the next video. And thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.